video is going to be a DIY collaboration with Jennifer from Sea Lemon. So we all have those craft supplies that just get pushed to the back that you always thought you would use, but then they just sit there for years and years and you never actually use them. So we thought it would be a fun idea for us each to pick out five of those kind of rejected craft supplies and send them to the other person. And then we each have to make a craft using at least three of the other person's supplies. I sent Jennifer some really difficult stuff to use, so after you finish watching this video, make sure you head on over to her channel to watch the video that she's putting up with my old supplies, and I will link that at the end and everything. But right now, it is time for the unboxing of this uh, massive box. Alright, it's open. Let's see what's in here. Item number one. I am quite enjoying these ampersand stickers. Okay, we have Crayola crayons and cobalt pale hue, uh, just like a blue, gouache. I have not used gouache since I was in art school. Um, this will be interesting. Next up, we have these pink bead necklaces, which are super fun. I am sure I can do something great with these because I love tacky, pink, shiny things. And then here is the big item. So we have a 16 by 20 stretched canvas, which I guess I can paint on here. I'm not sure exactly. I might figure out something else more interesting to do with this. And then the final item is this blank kind of translucent paper that it looks like you can use as a stencil. I guess you just like draw your stencil design and cut it out and then you can use this to, to stencil things. All right, so those were all of the items. Let's take a look at this letter. Hi Karen, inside you'll find five items I choose to swap. Canvas. I bought this canvas years ago with the intention of painting on it, but for some reason I never got around to it. Gouache. When I was in design school, yep. We had to use gouache on so many projects, and somehow I still find tubes of it among my supplies. Blank stencil. I used this material to cut out custom stencil designs. Garland beads. I used half of these beads to make a DIY drink coaster. Maybe you can figure out something to make with the other half. And crayons. It's random, but I've had this box of unused crayons sitting on my shelf waiting to be used. Have fun with them. The stencil and the gouache and the canvas all go together pretty well. I only have to use three of these supplies. I don't know. I have to brainstorm, so... I'll check back in with you guys soon. It's actually been a couple of weeks since I filmed that intro, so I've had a little bit of time to brainstorm. So I have this canvas, which is actually a really good material because it kind of gives me um, like a surface to work on, so I don't just have to come up with some object out of thin air. As for the other two materials I want to use, I really like these garland beads. I'm thinking about doing some sort of like 3D thing on this canvas where I like put the beads on here in some cool pattern and then maybe like paint the whole thing um, like a solid color. Maybe I could use the crayons as number three from this. If I take this and like glue it down and then add other like 3D elements and then spray paint the whole thing like white or something, I think that could look kind of cool. All right, so I've gathered a bunch of supplies. I have my E6000 on hand, which I finally managed to get open again, thanks to um, the pliers trick that some of you guys left in the comments when I said that it was stuck. And yeah, I'm just gonna get going and hope this works. <laughs> dry on my painting, and I actually really love how this turned out so far, but I think I'm going to take it one step further and spray paint the entire thing white. I just think the colors are a little distracting, especially like the little kids' toys and stuff that I put on here. I think of everything as just one solid uniform color, 
it'll make it feel more grown up and more like artsy. Um, I don't know if this is going to work. This is a big experiment. Um, I bought this spray paint on Amazon. It is the Rust-Oleum Ultra Cover Paint and Primer. I don't know, it had good reviews. It seems like it sticks to everything. But I'm starting to think maybe I should have painted everything before gluing them on because I'm a little worried about getting into all of the little like nooks and crannies. So we'll see if that works out. If it doesn't work out, Here's my project! I did it! I used, so, so I did use three materials from what um, Jennifer sent me. I used the canvas, I used all of the crayons, and I used some of this pink beading. But then, for bonus points, I actually used a few of the materials that I sent her. I used these little foam stickers and, um, Actually, I think that's it of what I sent her. But um, yeah, so I think I get a bonus point for that. So even if this doesn't work out, I did it. It's, you know, it still looks great like this. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Let's go try it. is finished. I actually had to go in with a little bit of white acrylic paint to kind of touch up where the color of the object was showing through the spray paint a little bit. But now that that's done, my painting is done as well. I hope I didn't cheat by using so many of my own materials, but I did complete the challenge by using three of Jennifer's materials. And this is actually just a really great project to get rid of little bits of craft supplies that you've had forever that you just need to like find something to do with all of them. Like a lot of this stuff I've just been gathering for years and years. I do have a few tips for putting one of these together. Number one, make sure you have at least two of every object so that um, you can kind of group them together and it's not like just random. I guess if you had one of everything it would be good, but if you're doing groups, maybe do groups of everything. Try to alternate between really big objects and then really small objects to give it a little more visual interest. And then also include a couple objects that you can cut down to size to fit in those kind of awkward spots that are left over, like these beads I could cut to any size I wanted, the straws, things like that. Also, if I did it again, I would probably put everything down, like arrange the whole thing, take a photo, and then spray paint everything, and then go off the photo and glue everything down, because right now, even with the white acrylic paint, there's still a little bit of color showing through, but it's nothing I'm really gonna worry about. Also, and this kind of depends on what glue you use, but with the E6000, it tends to leave behind kind of strings of glue. When you put the spray paint over it, they become pretty visible and it's a little distracting, so I would have been more careful to kind of clean that up before painting. But overall, this was such a fun project. I love how it turned out. I think I have to put it up on some sort of dark background so that it really stands out. Like if you put white on like a light wall, it's not going to look good. So I have to figure out exactly where to hang this. But I am so curious to find out what Jennifer made from my materials. So make sure you click right here to check out her video. And if you're not already subscribed to her channel, um, make sure you go subscribe because it's great. Or if you're already subscribed to her channel and you're new here on my channel and you want to see another DIY video in this style where I'm kind of going through the project without really knowing if it's going to turn out well. I did the DIY taxidermy stuffed animal video. Uh, you can watch that right here. So leave me a comment down below if you have any questions about what any of the objects were that I used on the painting. Or if you have any rejected craft supplies, tell us what they are and maybe we can all brainstorm how to use them. So I think that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment and all that fun stuff and I will see you all next time. Bye everyone!